Lords and ladies, dukes and dames, barons and brothers, sisters and sea hags, and children of varying degrees of obedience, welcome to the Osgood Medieval Festival. I, I'll see you for that. All right. I am Sir Greg, the Wolverine of Warrenshire, and the Knight of the Pound Table. And I will be your herald here today, as well as engaging in combat with these very fighters you see behind you. A round of applause, please. We need to get the blood pumping. We need to get it going. All right, fighters, please take the field. Allow me to introduce the Knights of the South Tower Armoring Guild. You can write that down. We have plenty of flyers for you later. We are a school that trains in downtown Ottawa, that studies, resurrects, and follows the principles of chivalrous medieval combat. And today we are here to put on a demonstration that will dazzle, razzle, educate, sorry kids, I know school's out, and possibly to entertain you. A few things first. You see this white line here. My lady of the green and white Please touch that white line. Cut the music. Now, that is as far as any of you dare go beyond that line. There's a reason for that. Our photographers, some of our supporters, and squires can be in this middle ground here. But all kidding aside, folks, this is for your safety. Uh, let us worry about hurting ourselves. If the two of us come close, and there are times where we do hit this rope, Hold is called. Hold means stop, but gravity starts to take over. You, sir, will have what we call summer teeth. Some are in your mouth, some are in her hand, some are in that child's hair, and some are over here. So please don't go any farther than that white line. If anybody does come across this white line, all combat will stop. And that is just for everyone's safety. We are wearing about between, I've got about 82 pounds, some of us have close to 100 plus of armor on and we are cooking in this sun. So please, please give us some love. Round of applause, please. All right, I will now make some introductions, starting from the end. We have a scrapper, a rapper, and an all-around basher, Dangerous Dan. To his right, the newest champion of the South Tower Armoring Guild Bill Fadun Memorial Tournament, the plated paladin, Sir Andrew. Oh, I know you can do better than that. We can't hear you in these helmets, folks. All right. To his right, we have with the three Darwin fish emblazoned on his tabard, the silverback, Sir Shane. Yes, some of us are well into our 40s. And to his right, Fighting for the second time in the ring, one of our most promising developmental talents in the combat stag school, the vivacious Valkyrie, Dame Leia! And to her right, as you can see, the most dangerous animal is a mother protecting her cubs. Right now we have titanic, terrifying Lady Tracy! Following Lady Tracy, my brother in arms, my uh, personal IT guy, and one of my best prodigies in all matters of unarmed combat, the Burgundy Brawler, Sir Ben! And next to Sir Ben, this walking panzer tank, this beast, the rusted ravager, Sir Mark! And now we have our shield maiden, a master of Nordic sword and shield combat, descending on Thor's lightning bolt, Electric Erica! And once again, I am Sir Greg, the Wolverine of Warrenshire. What, nothing? Oh, come on, there we are. All right, fighters retire the field. Now, a couple of the safety points. Once again, what's, what's, what's safety number one, young sir? Exactly! 
So you are of how many years, sir? How old are you? Six, okay. <laughs> a six-year-old can remember, don't go past this white line. All right. So today, you will be seeing a demonstration of as many of the types of medieval combat that we practice and train in at the school. Um, right now, there are three instructors. The Silverback is our head instructor, Sir Shane. Sir Matt, who is our, well, he's our arms dealer down there. If you're interested in buying some of our swords, head to the tent with the blue awning right over there. He instructs in matters of sword and shield combat, which you will see. And myself, I've only been doing this for about four years, but I have about 28 years of unarmed combat and wrestling, so I focus on what we like to call ringen, unarmed combat. So today, you're gonna see a demonstration of pretty much all of those. Are we gonna have any spears today, guys? Yep. All right, so you're gonna see some spear combat as well. We really, really like to cross train. Okay, now comes the fun part. Another demonstration of safety. I need a volunteer from the audience. I need a young volunteer from the audience. Let me see. Ah, you, sir, in the green. Step right this way. Please lift the white line for this brave gentleman. All right, step right this way. All right. First of all, I salute you for coming into this ring, sir. What is your name? Xavier. Xavier. All right, please, round of applause for Xavier. Okay, Xavier, please step this way with me. Now, what a lot of us have to learn how to do in this armor, I've got a, effectively a snowsuit on under this, and that's to absorb impact, and it makes, you know, moving around a little bit hard sometimes. You gotta sort of limber up. So you're gonna help me with a, a bit of a stretching exercise, Xavier. Can you, uh, can you just sort of bend a few times like this? Yeah, that's good. Now, okay, take, just come a little closer so everybody can see you. Now, would you mind, can you put both your hands on your knees? Just, just like that, okay. Um, now, just come a little further, stay like that, stay bent over. Yeah, a little more. Actually, would you, would you rest your head on this post right here? Just, just right here with your forehead, right? Very good. Uh, where's mom? <laughs> oh, hey, dad, yeah. <laughs> Is there a lawyer in the house? All right, look over there. All right, one thing I often get asked is, are these weapons real? And are these weapons dangerous? Well, no matter how many times I say yes, I always get that question. So, now, to demonstrate the killing power of our... Oh! Wait, happy birthday... No? All right, okay. Wait, you know we can't do this. A apparently the gods of fiduciary responsibility time. and liability... Hey, stand up for a second, Xavier. We will use the next best thing to a child's head. Hey, pineapple. All right. Step back a little bit, but don't go anywhere. All right, now to just, to just show you that these implements, these weapons are in fact dangerous. They're not sharp. We like to keep the blades dull and we do roll the tips. However, taking one of these to the arms can break an arm. Taking one of these, well, occasionally thumbs do get cut off. So without further ado, to show you, please stay behind the white line. All right. Xavier, please come here. I just gave him a crew cut. All right, here you go. You have a you have a little brother or a cousin or a bully that's picked. A, oh, a big brother! All right. Well, he's over there. You like him? All right. Hold this down, right about there in the center. Give it a great big chop. Ready? Go! Oh! Uh, I wouldn't eat it. It's got some WD-40 on it. So. Round of applause. Please for Xavier. Please would you escort Xavier back behind the white line, but... Okay, pineapple boy. <laughs> we, we start him out young. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, the first thing you're going to see, fighters will be taken to the fields in pairs. They will be doing between two and three what we call passes. So they will engage, then break off, take a breath. Sometimes their armor might get a little chink. They might get a little bit of a ding in it. Might need to be fixed. All right. This is not going to be Game of Thrones. It's not going to be my name is Inigo Montoya. Most fights lasted about four or five seconds. It was who got the kill shot. So, who do we have up first, gentlemen? We have Sir Shane and Sir Mark. Round of applause, please, for Sir, Sir Shane and Sir Mark. Give it a wipe and... Later. And then just put it 
These two will be fighting in a Florentine style. It's like walking into a blender. Feel free to cheer for your champion! As our fighters are circling each other, they're getting what they call measure. That's at an accurate distance. I think that's a hold. Oh, right in the grapes. All right. That's a, that is a German move called Das Lemon Slicer. You do that and nobody's happy. <laughs> it's easy, Sir Shane and Sir Mark are leveling off. Most of those hits to the helmets are not dangerous. All right, the whole point, just stop for a second, boys. The whole point, as you can see, Sir Shane and Sir Mark are decked out in a lot of plate. The only way you could get a kill shot was to get under the sensitive parts, the unprotected parts, here in the arteries, down here between the shoulder and the gorget. Nope, he's, he's plated there, not in the belly, but often in the side, or hamstringing, or maybe in the baby maker. <laughs> anyway, the point was to pierce your opponent and pop him like a bag of milk. Gentlemen, are you ready for one more pass? Are you ready? Lay on! Sir Shane and Sir Mark continue to circle each other. They're getting their accurate measure, making sure they're a sword distance away. You do not want to commit unless you're certain of victory. Oh. What do we have there? We double stabs to the throat. We do have more time, so. Yes, one yes. Pass. One final pass. Sir Shane and Sir Mark are covering off. In actuality, if you notice, one of those hold. The swords were not of equal length. Usually one was shorter than the other one. Otherwise, you risk getting tangled up in the tips. And bear in mind, they have maybe a slit thinner than your finger. That's how much you can see out of it. A round of applause, please, for Sir Shane and Sir Mark. Who's up next? 